In this lesson, you'll learn how to install Joomla at your web host. These days, web hosts provide an online control panel that allows you to manage most aspects of your website. There are different types of control panels, and the one I'm demonstrating is called cPanel, as it is by far the most popular. The first stage of the installation is to create a database. Step 1. Log into your control panel using the details that your provider gave you when you signed up. Step 2. Scroll down to the Databases section and click on the My SQL Database Wizard link. Step 3. Enter a name for your database. And click Next Step. Step 4. Enter a username for the database. Note that this is not the same as the user that accesses Joomla Administrator, so choose something new. Step 5. Enter a password for the database. And then enter it again in the next box. Step 6. Once you have made a note of the details you have entered, click the Create User button. Step 7. On the next page, you'll see a table with check marks in various boxes. Leave all options checked and click Next Step. Note that cPanel adds a prefix to your database user and database name. In this example, my database username is Joomla v5 underscore Joom dat and my database name is Joomla v5 underscore Joomla 2000. You need to save these details so make sure that you've made a note of them. You'll also need the database server name which in most cases is localhost. You can see this indicated here. The next stage is to download the Joomla files as follows. Step 1. Open a new browser tab and go to www.joomla.org. Step 2 is to click the download button. And step 3. Click the download button corresponding to the version of Joomla you wish to install. I'm going to get the latest version of Joomla 3. The next stage is to take the Joomla file that was downloaded and get it onto your hosting account. Step 1. Return to cPanel and navigate to the main cPanel page. Step 2. Scroll down to the Files section and click File Manager. Step 3. Choose the Web Root option and click Go. Step 4. Your current website files are displayed. If this is a brand new hosting account, there's a good chance that there'll be nothing or very little in here. Towards the top of the page are several action icons. Go ahead and click the Upload button. Step 5. In the new window that appears, click the Choose File button. Locate the Joomla file that you previously downloaded and double click to select it. The Joomla file will now be uploaded to your hosting account, which can take some time. When the upload is complete, click the back link to return to the file manager. Step 6. There are thousands of files packed into the Joomla zip file, and these now need to be extracted. Click the name of the Joomla file so that it's highlighted. And step 7. Click the Extract button towards the top of the page. 
confirm the location where the files should be stored and the default is correct so go ahead and click extract files click the close button and note that your hosting account now contains all the necessary Joomla files the original Joomla file that was downloaded is no longer required so click it once so it's highlighted and at the top click the delete icon and confirm. Now that the files are uploaded, the final stage is to run through the Joomla web installer. In your browser, navigate to your website address. The web installer should now be displayed. Step 2. The first option is labelled Select Language. Joomla can be set up as a multi-language website, which is an advanced topic that's not covered in this course. Right now, you need to select the default language for the site, so choose your desired language from the drop-down box. Step 3. Next is Site Name. Enter some words that best describe your site. This is usually the name of your organisation and it will appear in the title bar of the web browser. This can be changed later. Step 4. My recommendation is to leave description empty. If you're a beginner, just trust me on this. But for those of you who do understand meta description, I'll give you a brief explanation. The text that goes in here would be used as a global meta description. This means the same meta description could be used for multiple pages, which is not ideal from a search engine optimization perspective. Instead, you should create a unique meta description for each page, and this is demonstrated in later lessons. Step 5. The next four settings are used to provide access to the Joomla backend, known as administrator. So go ahead and enter your email, a username, and the same password twice. When selecting a username and password, the normal rules apply. Choose something that is easy to remember, but is difficult for someone to guess. One of the main reasons Joomla websites get hacked is because of weak passwords. Step 6. Leave Site Offline set to No, and then click the Next button in the top right. Step 7. Now it's time to enter the details for the database that you specified in the first section of this lesson. The first option is database type and in most cases you would just leave this set to MySQLi. If you get an error trying to move on to the next page you might need to come back and set this to MySQL. Step 8. Next to Hostname, enter the location of your database as specified by your web host. In the majority of cases, you would leave this set to Local Host, but check the welcome email that you received from your host when you set up your account. Step 9. Enter the database username that you created in cPanel earlier. This is not to be confused with the Joomla administrator username that you specified in the previous step. Step 10, next to password, enter the database username password that you specified in cPanel. Step 11, enter the database name that you cr previously created in cPanel.
Step 12, table prefix can be left as it is. This is a random series of letters and numbers, so your prefix won't look the same as mine. Step 13, old database process can be ignored, so go ahead and click the next button at the top right. Step 14, the Joomla web installer gives you the option to install some sample data. As this course is about building a Joomla website from scratch, I'm going to skip this option and leave Install Sample Data set to None. Step 15. If you've noted everything during the installation, you can skip the Email Configuration option. However, if you'd like to have all the information sent to you by email, choose Yes. But note that it's not a good idea to send passwords via email, in which case it's advised to leave this next option set to No. Step 16. Scroll down and have a look at the settings in the pre-installation check. All of these should be set to Yes. If they are not, there's a good chance that either the installation will not complete successfully or you'll have difficulty using Joomla. The options listed in the right column under Recommended Settings should all be set to the recommended options, but it's not essential. However, for the highest security, we recommend talking to your web host to see if you can get your settings to match those of the recommended Joomla settings. Step 17, scroll back up to the top and click the Install button. With any luck, Joomla should now be installed on your hosting account. Step 18. When the installation is complete, this page is displayed and you need to click the orange button labelled Remove Installation Folder. Now click the Site button to be taken to the front end of your newly installed Joomla website. 